Happy New Year! We have come back from our little trip down to the borders and yeah, I thought I would edit it, get it up and then we can talk about it and you can see what we got up to. So New Year's Eve, Leo was working, so that kind of like cuts out most things because after a 12 and a half hour shift you don't really want to go out all night drinking. So we had a quiet night on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day we headed down to the borders to Samyaling, which is a Tibetan monastery down on the borders. Now you can see we go from like city to a little bit of countryside, like outskirts of the city, and then we start getting into like proper countryside. And it's such a beautiful drive. Um, we went down with a friend of ours, Katie, who very kindly drove the entire way. Um, it's a two hour drive and it's all kind of winding country lanes. So it's, it's quite a like intense drive a huge huge thank you to her for doing this but wow it was such a beautiful drive um i can't believe we have such amazing scenery here in scotland like obviously we spend 99.9 percent .9 of our time in the city so we don't see most of this and it was just incredible to be able to drive through all of this i mean there were parts like this particular bit where you're going over cattle grids because you're driving through a field of sheep and it's wonderful like there's so much wildlife and oh it, it really really was so beautiful and at the end of it you have this so you can see the stupa appearing in the background there you've got the tibetan prayer flags and this is us driving down the entrance this is samuel ling so as i said it's a tibetan monastery down in the borders um, and it was the first tibetan monastery in the uk and it's hidden literally in the middle of nowhere. Um, it's 15 miles outside of Lockerbie. So it is kind of like you have to drive there. You can get um, a train down and then get a bus. But you are kind of like self-contained here because you're 15 miles from anything. So knowing this, um, I packed us some lunches to take with us because we arrived at kind of like a weird time where most things were closed. Um, so we had lunch when we arrived, which was like hummus and potato salad, pickles, falafel. Um, I also made some banana walnut flapjack. It was perfect timing because we arrived, had some lunch, and then we got to check in. So because we're staying overnight, it's a bit too far to go just for the day for us anyway, for our first trip. Um, so this is where we're staying in Johnston House. You have the tea and coffee making facilities, and then you have this huge, huge library. So there's different places to stay as well. This is where me and Leo stayed because you had the private room. It was like a twin and Katie was staying in the dormitories. So there's a, there's a few different options depending on what you want to do. There's also, um, you can actually like rent cottages for families. Oh, that's where we were up those stairs. Um, and you've got all of these kind of spaces where you can just sit and read and talk to people. It's lovely. It really, really is. Uh, this is our room. So this is a twin room. You get a water basin, but you don't get an ensuite bathroom. There's one of them just down the hall. And you have this lovely view. It really is just like this lovely little oasis of calm and beauty in the middle of a field, in the middle of nowhere. Um, yeah, there you go. That's our room. After we checked in, we went and had a wander and had a bit of an explore. Um, and you've got, again, like just these beautiful views all around you. Um, you've got these rivers here where in the morning there was like ducks going crazy on them, which was really cool to watch. There's birds everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's, it really is so lovely. Um, after we checked in, we went to the Tibetan tea rooms. It was pretty cold down there. So, you know, just to warm up and check the place out. And here it does exactly what it says on the tin. It is a tea room, so you can get your tea and coffee. Um, it doesn't do food. You do have like a separate dining room if you want to go for food. So this is just like your tea and coffee making kind of place. Leo had a um, cappuccino and I had a chai. They've got plenty of non-dairy options. So while in the dining room, things do tend to be very dairy heavy. You don't have like any kind of other options for tea and coffee just milk there are non-dairy options in the tibetan tea rooms this is the stupa and around it you have these prayer wheels so each of the prayer wheels has something like thirty thousand uh written prayers on paper wound up in the side inside it so that every time you turn it 
you know, that's like infinite prayers that are being sent out, which is all kinds of just mind blowing. And you've got loads of these things all around the stupa. So you walk clockwise round it and you spin those prayer wheels as you go. And yeah, it's just a beautiful place. You've got statues, you've got the monastery. It's just so filled with hidden gems this place i really whether you're religious or not or interested in buddhism or not it's just a beautiful place to go and visit and when you think that this is in the borders of scotland in the middle of nowhere it's just like mind-blowing that all of this is here so let's just walk around a bit more so you can see this you've got the the carvings you've got like just how highly decorated everything is it's absolutely beautiful and carry on walking round and then come back and then you can see the stupa a bit more slowly 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 backwards there it is it's huge it's beautiful um and then just to the side we have got the statue there of guru rinpoche lots of stuff now after we went and explored we went and had some dinner which in the evening is soup rice salad um, and bread and on the table they have these um, food offerings, which I think is a nice touch. Um, dinner is £2.50. It's included in your room rate if you are staying overnight, or you can choose to um, just pay as you go if you're visiting for the day. Now let's go and look at the temple. Um, so you can see the view from the temple is incredible. And you go through here, where you've got, again, you've just got all these like beautiful things going on. You go through this doorway, and at the end of the corridor, you have this beautiful stained glass window, which I'll get a little bit closer to in a second. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. It's just nice little touches everywhere. It really is just an incredible place. And there we go. There is the stained glass window, which is, again, beautiful. I just keep saying beautiful because everything is really, it's just an incredible place. And that tells you who the stained glass window is. And then if we go around the corner, we have got the temple itself. Now I've not given you any pictures of inside the temple because it is kind of being used at all times. But uh, yeah, after dinner, we went there um, and we did the Chenrezy evening prayers. And that was our day. So happy new year. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you again soon.